Good morning guys and welcome to another Blowdom episode. Okay, so if you have been following the channel, welcome to the channel. Blowdom is everything about water, all about spearfishing, fishing. And in today's episode, we are going to be tackling a couple of knots. So we're going to start off with the easy knots, the knots that I use for most of my hooks for beginners. And then we're going to progress a little bit more into more technical looks, uh, uh, more technical knots like your FG knots. So yeah, we're going to do cover a lot of knots. Um, guys, there's a Patreon channel um, that we're launching soon. Um, go check it out in the description. There's a in the link um, in the description. There's a link that you can follow for hidden content. And if you are a paid up member, it's ten dollars per month. If you are a paid up Patreon member, you will receive every six months. You will receive a Patreon box that will contain a blood hat. Uh, discount at extreme fishing discount at fish sa there will also be a couple of mystery prizes in there and this is a huge way that you can actually support the channel and help us out other way that you can help out is subscribe to the channel leave a little comment on what videos you want to see next all of this really helps out with the algorithm okay so the first knot we're going to cover is you've seen in the videos most of the times i use a circle hook so the first knot is very simple to do on a circle hook all that you're going to do is you're going to take your line the first line you're going to put in from behind okay so then on the stem you do about 10 twists on the stem you can do as many as you like but i prefer around about 10 twists on the stem and take the other tag end and simply just push it in from behind it's very important that you finish it from behind the first one you can push in from the front but the second one you need to push in from behind pull that nice and tight and there's your that's your yoke so that fish by uh, that hook will lie like this in the water fish will come in nice in the corner of the mouth that will sit beautifully in the corner of the mouth so that's a simple and very easy way that we hook our circle looks so now the second one um, is if you if this end you're tagging you don't have a free tag end all that you're going to do then is you figure eight I'm going to show you the figure eight just now but I would just want to finish up with a circle look first so all that you do is push it in this time you push it in from the front okay that tag end you pull that tag in all the way through and you can make a uni knot or a figure eight knot on this one it's the same um, so i'm going to do the figure eight now one two three times around my finger pull all the loops off there's all my loops tag end in from behind make sure that when you pull those loops open that you see that figure eight forming there sometimes you have to wriggle it around a little bit just to get that figure eight there and there you can see your eight again there's your eight your figure eight that you want pull that nice and tight on this on that hook and then you can cut off that tag end and that's a simple way to hook your circle hook to um, put a line on your circle hook if you don't have an open tag end Okay, so guys, now we're going to move on to the uni knot and the figure eight knot. And this is basically exactly the same knot. Um, you can have two ways of making it. It's called a uni knot and a figure eight knot, but basically it is both a figure eight knot. So you take your hook, put your line through the tag and you make a loop. You loop it around. So now you've got three lines. You've got three lines over here. So the middle line and the top line, pinch them together. And all you do is you take that tag end and you loop it around five or six times. And as soon as you start pulling on that, there you will see your figure eight. That's the eight set for me. Okay. Make sure that you wet your line. To wet, uh, you wet your line because otherwise as soon as you tighten the nylon, the line will burn. So you wet your line, slides off nicely. And there you can see that's a uni knot pulling nice and tightly very easy and quick and simple way to do that so now I'm going to show you the figure 8 and it actually looks exactly the same and it finishes the, exactly the same okay so on the figure 8 all that I do is I put it through again and then I handed little tippies I take my finger and I keep it in line with the hook like that so and then I pinch the bottom line with my with my thumb and my index, uh, my finger, and I loop it around my finger three times. Pull off all the loops. Tag end goes in from behind. And then make sure that you open those loops, and you want to see that eight forming. 
there you can see that eight forming again. Pull that tight, wet your line, pull it tight, and you have exactly the same finish as you would with a uni knot. So whatever one is a little bit quicker and easier for you to do, that's the one that will work for you. But um, yeah, very strong knots, never had any problems with that. So the next thing you can do is when you want to tie, and you can use this one on braid, it's not the preferred one for braid, but when you want to uh, connect two lines or braid two line, you can use the figure eight, double figure eight knot. So it's gonna be a, I'm using an orange line and yellow line, doesn't matter which one starts first. So this is basically going to be your bottom line that you're working with. The, the orange one is my top line. So I do three loops around my finger. And you can do, like I said, you can do your uni knot with that as well. Three knots around my finger. Tag in goes through the back. Open the loops up so that you see that figure eight that you want. There's the figure eight for me. And I just tighten it a little bit. Okay, turn the lines around. Then we're going to the yellow line, same thing, orange line on the bottom, yellow line three times around my finger, get the loops off, take the orange line to the bottom, tag in through the back, open up my loops, I want to see my eight there, there's my eight forming, my figure eight forming, you can see it, tighten that up, wet the line, and now you can pull that nice and tight you'll see that is a very nice and neat knot and you can just snip off that tag ends the thing with both these knots the uni knot and the figure eight knot is the tighter the line pulls the tighter the knot will pull it can't pull out it will only tighten up the harder you pull on the line the tighter it will come so there there you go a very nice and neat little knot to tie two lines together okay so that covers basically that covers the knots that i use there's one other knot um, that we sometimes use, uh, the Rapala knot. Um, I'll quickly show you that one. So what I do in that one is I make a little loop, just a little half inch there. Um, then I put it through my line. I put it through there for the loop, make the loop a little bit smaller. Okay, and that's how far I want it to be from that side. Okay, so then I'm gonna go a little loopy, work the tag in through that loop about four or five times. And then I'm gonna take that tag in. I'm gonna open that up, pinch it, open it up. Put it in there again, wet everything up and pull that nice and tight. Okay, so this is a nice one when you're tying lures and you want that lure to move a little bit freely. Um, that's a nice knot to use for that. So, um, and also the tag end is going in the same direction. So, when you the tag end is not going in that direction, tag end is going down in that direction. So if you snip off that tag end, it's a very nice and neat knot and it won't interfere with the action of the lure or anything. So yeah, that's a, you can use this knot if you're fishing for cop, deep sea fishing for cop, and you want to hook a pulch it on that. It just gives that hook a little bit more freedom and movement in the circle rather than if you're tying it like tight like that, there's no movement on the hook. So that just gives your hook a little bit more move, natural movement and freedom in the current. So that's a handy little tip if you want to tie your knots like that. Okay, so the next one I'm going to do is the FG knot. So I'm going to use a nice thick braid and a nice thick leader so you can actually see what I'm doing. So um, I like a little bit of tension on the line. So what I do is I wrap it around my pinky. You can see, wrap it about four or five times around my pinky. And then all I do is take my leader. This is the, the green line is the braid. And uh, I take my leader and I put it on top on the tension. And what you want to do is you want to twist it left and right. So there's one twist two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. You can do as many as you want, but there you can see how it's forming. It's creating that little zigzags. 
that's forming there. Okay, so after that, what you're going to do is you're going to go half features in opposite directions. So you're going to do one from the bottom. Make sure that's nice and tight in there. It helps if somebody's holding the other part of the line so you can get it nice and tight. And then, so the first one was from the, uh, the bottom. Now I'm going to do the second one. I'm doing an overhand. So you're doing underhand and overhand half features. Okay. Uh, I'm going to do about four and then I'm going to pull it tight. There, there, there was an overhand. I'm going underhand again. And last one, I'm going to go overhand again. Okay, so and then you actually need some gloves for this. But what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to wrap it couple of times around my hand then I take the other side and you want to pull this really really tight because you want the braid to bite into the leader now and there you can see there you can see that the leader is actually bitten into that into that um, after the braid is bitten into that leader okay so you wanted to see you wanted to go in there Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to snip off that tag end of the leader. Make sure that the whole features are nice and tight. Then I'm going to snip off that, that leader part, and that I leave a short little end there. And then what I do is I take the lighter and I make it a little mushroom. So that it can't pull out. Then I'm going to do another couple of half features. Another four, five, one overhand, one underhand. Make sure those are nice and tight as well. It's not really important, but some people do prefer that you go under and over and so that um, you go in opposite directions. Okay, now I'm going to do a risotto finish on, on this one. Okay, so the risotto finish, um, I've got my tag end, I make a loop with that. Okay, so now I'm simply going to wind this in there 10 times. One, two, three. You don't need to do 10 times, but I like to finish it off with 10 times. And this is not a very neat knot because I'm using very thick braid. As soon as you use a little bit thicker, uh, thinner braid, it's going to look a lot better. But um, this is 150 pound braid. Um, that I'm using here. Okay, so as soon as you've got your your loops in there, you're going to see the direction on this side. You're going to see the direction, and you want to unwind again. So then you pinch the tag in, you pinch the tag in, and you start with this side, and you start unwinding it again. So you're forming a nice little neat loops and circles here, closer to your all features, closer, closer to your FG knot that you just made. Okay, and this just prevents that whole thing from pulling tight. So now you see that loop that was tight there. Now that loop is loose. So all you can do now is you take your tag end, pinch those loops that you just made closer to knot. You can see it's starting to pull in. Just keep it nice and tight, still starting to pull in. Keep on pulling that. And look at that. Look how beautiful that risotto pulled in there. Okay. Yeah, and now you can take something, you can twist it around the scissors. This normally works quite well. Twist it and pinch it there on the scissors. And you can really pull that knot nice and tight. There you go. And then you can snip off, leave a little bit of a tag in, I'd say about five mil. You can leave a little bit of a tag in there. And uh, that is a FG knot, half features and a risotto finish. Okay, and that is one that we used in Mozambique episodes. Yes, a very, very exciting Mozambique episodes that's coming up. Um, this is the knot that Bertha told us. We dubbed, we, we named this one the Bertha knot. And uh, we really had great success. And I've been fishing, um, shock, doing some shock fishing with this specific knot as well. And um, 
to tie my braid to braid um, because we used the braided leader on uh, to our braid main line and uh, it re worked really well on that one as well so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this um, episode and i hope you guys learned something so and if you want to see any other knots or any other episodes in the comment section leave a little comment leave a little like and remember to subscribe see you guys in the next episode